Today Lacey and I are in Richmond, Maine and we're going to be heading over to Swan Island. We're going to be staying the night there camping and hiking. Okay. Getting to Swan Island requires a five minute ferry ride. Then once on the island you can hop in the back of a pickup truck to be shuttled to the campground which is located in a grassy field overlooking the river. Home sweet home. At the campground are 10 lean-tos, each with a fire pit and picnic table. Let's try to tip everything off of it. Located in the Kennebec River between the towns of Richmond and Dresden, Swan Island was once home to a small community. Today, the 2,019-acre island is a state-owned wildlife management area that's great for hiking, camping, and wildlife watching. It's also a place where you can walk back in time. With remains of the abandoned town described through educational displays, it's easy to imagine what life would have been like on the island in the 1800s. So pretty. The island features seven miles of hiking trails, as well as a 4.5 mile dirt road that's great for walking or biking. Swan Island was incorporated as the town of Perkins in 1847. By 1860, the island's population hit its peak at 100 residents in 27 homes. Many people on the island farmed, evidenced by the many large fields that still remain. Other jobs on the island include fishing, lumbering, shipbuilding, and ice cutting. Several factors led to the community's decline. By the early 1900s, refrigeration reduced the demand for ice, and steel boats were more popular than wooden ships. Wood was getting scarce on the island, and pollution in the river eliminated fishing. All that together caused Swan Island to be abandoned by 1936. That door. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> why are there bones? <laughs> Critter drags him in, maybe? <laughs> so we've made our fire. It was a little touch and go there for a second, but there she burns. I wonder if they put it there. Yeah, it is all like dead. Is he a fever? Oh, I see that one. Oh,